Good morning. This morning we're going to make corn tortillas. And I, and I know there's a hundred recipes for making these, and mine's no different. I don't even claim this to be a recipe. It's just a mix of flour and water. And I don't think making your own tortillas is an important money-saving issue because corn tortillas in the market are fairly inexpensive. But they don't keep forever, and you don't always have them, whereas masa flour will keep a long time in a sealed container. You can even put it in the freezer, and I, I believe you can even can it. And so you can all pretty much always have masa flour on hand, and making corn tortillas takes very little time, and they do taste a little better than the ones in the store because they're fresh. So uh, here we go. We're going to start with the ingredients we need to make them. You need, uh, obviously, a bowl to mix it. You need masa flour, which you can buy in virtually any full-service grocery store. It will typically be called masa harina. You need a tortilla press. I guess technically you could roll these out without one, but I think it would be difficult. So get a tortilla press. You can get them off Amazon. Um, this just has warm water in it, about a cup. This is salt. And then maybe just a touch of uh, vegetable oil. Some recipes use it, some don't. We're going to use it a little today. Now we're only going to make a small number of these today, so I'm just going to make about a cup of masa flour. And I generally add about three quarters to, or a little more, water than I add flour, but just till it gets the consistency you want. Um, you can just mix it with your hands, you'll see. Uh, and I generally add about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of salt for every cup of flour. So uh, let me put some of these ingredients in the bowl and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I put in about a cup of masa flour and about three-fourths or less of a cup of water, a heavy pinch of salt, and just a drizzle of a little veg oil. And you just mix this up with your hands until you, until you think you have the right consistency. It's, this is a little dry, so it's going to take a little bit more water. This definitely takes more water than, than certainly than wheat flour would. Um, but, you know, there's no gluten, so there's no kneading or anything like that. I think this is getting pretty close. So we want to form it up into a ball. I don't know, maybe it's not quite sticky enough. Just a touch more water. I don't think this is critical. Some people make a stiffer dough than this. I've watched a lot of videos on making these things. So I'm going to form this up and uh, I'll be back. So once you get it uh, sort of the consistency you want, then put it in some sort of regular shape. It, it, there's no point in kneading it because there's no gluten to knead. And then let's divide it into sort of equal portions so our tortillas sort of come out a similar size. These might come out a little small-ish. That might not have worked well. Mm. Get the dough sort of where you want it, and it's kind of the consistency of a pretty firm, pretty firm dough, like maybe really pretty darn firm. It's not stretchy, and there's no point in kneading it because there's no glutens to to work. So it'll never get stretchy or anything. It'll just get dry. So there's no point in that. Just roll it into roll it in your hands into little balls about the size of a walnut, and then we'll we'll use the press to uh, make these into small to medium size. Tortillas. It obviously depends on the size tortilla press you have. I have a small press. Okay, so this is the tortilla press. It opens and closes. Get it off Amazon. You'll need a couple pieces of plastic or a plastic bag that you just cut open. I just use a zipper bag that I cut open. This is a really important piece of equipment. And you take one of your little dough balls, put it on there. It's a little hard to do one-handed. Give it a little start to smush, 
then put the and push this handle down but but don't push hard just press it till it's done then you can make it a little more even by turning it 180 degrees and pressing it again and then your tortilla will look something like this uh, I had a crease in the plastic just a second I'm gonna put the camera down okay so when that's done you you have to Take it off the plastic and be careful doing this because it, it can tear, and especially the first one can tear. So we're going to go heat up the cast iron and we'll be back. So you want your cast iron to be hot and there's no oil needed on it. And you just lay the tortilla down on it like that. And it has to cook about, I don't know, 40 seconds or a minute and you got to flip it. So we'll kind of wait for it here. I'll pause it and then we'll pick this up. When you see the edges of it sort of starting to dry out, just take it and flip it. And cook it another, I don't know, 40 seconds to a minute, depending on how done you like them cooked. If you're not filming it, you can use this time to squish the next um, tortilla in the press. One thing not to do is don't stack these things up pressed on a plate because they will stick together and then you'll have to do it all over again. A lot of people flip it one more time and it, and it kind of bubbles up and adds some air to it which is really good. Mine's starting to bubble a little there. Um, I don't have good luck doing that and I'm not 100% sure why. But the tortillas taste good so I guess that's the principle. Uh, I'm going to flip it again and see if I can get it to proof up, but I don't think so. Yeah, mine, mine almost never do. I don't know why. But they taste good. Okay, when it comes off the heat, then you got to put it in something to keep it warm. Like, I use this thing, which is just a cheap thing with an opening. Uh, a lot of people have a little uh, thing that looks like a hat that they keep them in. But whatever you keep it in, keep it in something that keeps them warm. And be careful when you take them off because they will be hot. Stick it in there and then do your next one. Okay, well, that's how you make corn tortillas. They'll keep in a, you know, if you keep them sealed, they'll keep for a while, less long than store-bought ones. But they taste really good when they're fresh, like if you put butter on them or put some cheese and beans in them or chicken or whatever it is you put in a tortilla. Um, they're really tasty. They're very cheap to make, I think three or four cents a piece, uh, maybe plus a little gas. And uh, I hope you try it. Thanks for watching.